Apple's iPad Air successor is reportedly no longer an iPad Air. Microsoft begins to throw the towel on porting Android applications to Windows 10 Mobile, and HTC makes a ton of promises over what to expect for the One M10. I'm Jaime Rivera, and as we pack our stuff to leave Barcelona, we're nostalgic. We want to party some more. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with both Leica and Huawei as both companies have now partnered in a long-term relationship with the whole idea of improving smartphone cameras. Not that smartphone cameras are bad this time, nor is it that Huawei hasn't done an amazing job with devices like the Nexus 6P, but the fact that these companies want to collaborate to build something better is great news. We just don't know exactly when it'll start. Other official news come from Microsoft as the company has uh, not necessarily said it out loud, but uh, they've pretty much killed Project Astoria. And for those of you that don't know what that is, that's the whole concept of porting Android applications to Windows 10 Mobile. Right now, the only option you'll have is porting iOS applications because according to them, they wanted to avoid confusion as of all Android applications are available on iOS. But anyways, now let's move the spotlight over to HTC as we hear that the company is uh, planning some very odd changes with the 1M10. We've seen the teasers. Now we hear that number one, it'll start at 16 gigabytes, which is terrible in this day and age, but uh, other very important ones are that HTC executives are claiming that the camera is going to be great. And they've said that for the longest of time, so we wanna see it happen this time. Now, some very interesting developments from analysts are claiming that the iPhone 5SE is not necessarily going to help Apple. Apple has a tremendous backlog of uh, supplies in orders because it seems that obviously their current iPhones haven't really sold as much as the company wants to. And apparently the whole project of bringing a smaller iPhone is to fix that, but analysts don't think that it will happen. It's very hard to predict. It'll all depend on what design comes what Apple does to promote it, and uh, we've known that Cupertino doesn't always win. And finally, the very interesting news today have to do again with Apple, but this time with its iPad lineup. We've been dubbing it the iPad Air 3 ever since we've started hearing about the rumors, but it seems that that's not going to be the name. Apparently, this device will not only look like the iPad Pro, but also shave the Air name. We've seen Apple kind of doing that. We saw the new MacBook, which is lighter than the iPad, than the MacBook Air, sorry. And apparently, that's going to be the case here. This project uh, will be something different. Could it be that it'll be called the iPad again? And it leads me to the question of today. Would you buy a new iPad regardless of whatever name? Let's just say that Apple brings a revolutionary new tablet. What exactly would that tablet have to bring for you to want to buy it? In my case, I'd love the speakers, but I would also love some more productivity. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. And friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get these news earlier before this video was filmed, follow us on pocketnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. In addition, you can also watch our videos on Vessel at vessel.com slash pocketnow. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. You can follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you very soon.